There is one aircraft today that flies when others cannot. It accomplishes missions in bad weather, at night, at long range, and with larger payloads than most other aircraft as it goes about its routine task at the front line of the free world's defense in Europe. It is beyond challenge one of the finest aircraft ever built. And it is doing a job that no other in the NATO alliance can do now or in the foreseeable future. It was designated the F-111 by the United States Air Force in the early 1960s. Designed as a night, all-weather, automatic terrain following fighter bomber, the F-111 carries out its assignment under any circumstances, any time, any place, any weather. In the next century, when today's military aircraft are evaluated by future historians, this one may be rated as the best for its task ever designed. activated by the U.S. Air Force in the late 60s. The first 50 years of aviation history had seen military aircraft evolving in a predictable sequence as technology improved. One airplane design rapidly followed another, each pushing its predecessor into obsolescence. But the F-111 was one of the aircraft that helped bring that process to a near standstill. Few could have foreseen at the time of its development that aviation history was being rewritten. Military planners in the early 60s hoped that, among its other assignments, the F-111 would fill a temporary gap between strategic bombers. Not even the most far-sighted could have imagined that the F-111, far from filling an interim role, would be asked to serve in the front line of the free world's aggressor deterrent force for the next half century. The F-111 is a two-seat, all-weather attack aircraft with derivatives ranging from the RF-111C reconnaissance aircraft to the FB-111 strategic bomber. The General Dynamics F-111 was never given an official nickname by the U.S. Air Force. Because of its anteater-shaped nose, it has been called the Aardvark by those who fly and maintain it. But that whimsical name in no way diminishes their respect for a truly remarkable machine. When the first test flight was made in 1964, the F-111 represented an entire series of firsts in military aircraft. The first variable sweep wing. The first afterburning supersonic turbofan engine. The first automatic terrain following radar system. The first escape module providing safe ejection for both crew members throughout the operational flight envelope. And eventually, the first tactical aircraft when fully armed to weigh as much as 50 tons. Today, the F-111 is deployed in the U.S. at two strategic and two tactical air command bases, and in Australia by the Royal Australian Air Force. The F-111 is flown by the U.S. Air Force in England, and its importance as a frontline deterrent is acknowledged by military experts around the world. From RAF Lakenheath and Upper Hayford, the F-111 represents the most powerful defensive unit of any kind in the European NATO nations. Hardened shelters grounded securely into the green countryside protect a total of eight squadrons of F-111s, each fully capable of reaching objectives far beyond the range of most aircraft. 
Ultimate Edition, the F-111 can make its bombing run at 200 feet above the terrain any time of day or night in any kind of weather. And as proof of its respect for the aircraft, the Soviet Union has always insisted that the F-111 be included in strategic arms limitation talks. A typical mission for the European-based 111 may begin with a scramble alert and a quick response of the ground and flight crews. With a precision practiced year-round, both crews will have the aircraft ready and taxiing to the runway in minutes. Environmental conditions are an incidental planning factor. Once the aircraft has been committed to its mission, the weather cannot deter the F-111 from its target. F-111 launches with full afterburners, its engines generating over 50,000 pounds of thrust. Depending on mission requirements, the aircraft has the capability of flying at speeds approaching Mach 2.5 and delivering its payload to targets well over a thousand miles away. Target coordinates and navigational information are programmed into onboard computers. While the aircraft is still out of hostile radar range, the pilot can select automatic terrain following and bring the aircraft down to 200 feet for safer penetration to the target. that has been proven repeatedly in strategic air command bombing and navigation competition, the F-111 fulfills its mission with impressive efficiency. In my estimation, uh, the airplane is unique. There isn't another jet in the world, either free or Warsaw Pack, that can do what it can do. Uh, it's a very potent weapon system, uh, and it has the ability to, to strike the entire spectrum of targets uh, that the theater commander would want to strike uh, if we ever had to go to war. The F-111 was designed to be a multi-mission aircraft carrying out a wide range of assignments. Theater nuclear missions, interdiction, conventional strike, maritime control, defense suppression, and close air support are some of the tasks it can handle. But it still performs its night, all-weather interdiction role better than any other aircraft in the world. And it remains the only U.S. Air Force aircraft in service with day, night, low-level, all-weather, accurate weapons delivery capability. This is the main deterrent to the Soviets. Basically, I would say that our job is in time of war for deep penetration 
to do the utmost damage to the enemy as we possibly can. Low level, high speed, maximum proficiency, accurate bombing. As far as I'm concerned, there's no better jet in the United States Air Force that does this job. With a reputation for mission effectiveness and survivability, the F-111 has the added advantage of being one of the most cost-effective aircraft in the inventory. Experience has shown that other types of interdiction strike forces may have to include tanker support, command and control aircraft, electronic support aircraft, and air traffic or forward air control, fighter cover, as well as a heavy commitment of fixed and rotary winged rescue aircraft. In contrast, in its most basic and effective mission, the F-111 works totally alone. It can deliver nuclear or conventional weapons to the most difficult targets with awesome speed and pinpoint accuracy. For these reasons, the F-111 remains one of the most respected weapon systems in the world. With its unique capabilities and innovative design, the F-111 has secured its place in military aviation history. But there's more to this aircraft than performance and engineering excellence. Behind any defense system developed in America is the conviction that liberty is too important to take for granted. The freedom we cherish must be defended by the best we have as a nation. This aircraft and those who fly and maintain it symbolize that best. With every flight, the F-111 reaffirms to all the world the commitment of the United States Air Force and the American people to the defense of our freedom. The F-111, not only an effective peacekeeper for today, but built to keep the peace far into tomorrow.